So the Cat Williams interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay had a lot of gems in it. It was a very entertaining interview, and there was a lot of things that a lot of people took out and got from this interview. And um, just a few things I want to talk about on this video is some of the things that I actually disagree with Cat Williams on in that interview. There were some things that I thought he said that was out of pocket and was kind of wrong. And I'm going to give my thoughts right here on the channel. Welcome to uh, the channel, guys. I'm getting Mike. Much love, peace, and blessings to everybody checking into the video. And uh, let's get right into some of the things that Cat Williams said. He said a lot of things exposing the industry, talking about uh, a lot of people in the industry um, compromised themselves by wearing dresses and a lot of things that they did to get ahead, like people like Cat, uh, not Cat, Kevin Hart. Um, he talked about how you know Cedric the Entertainer stole jokes from him <laughs> uh guys like steve harvey stole jokes and uh how you know you know necessarily a lot of these comedians are not funny he was just going everybody know i think there's the the actual video got somewhere around 48 million views in a few days maybe four or five days man so it's been a heck of a you know interview um and some of the things i thought that was wrong um from cat williams is some of the things he said about Ricky Smiley and some of the things he said about Earthquake. And I want to uh, play a little bit of the clip and then I'm going to give my thoughts on why I feel like and I believe some of it was wrong. That's how I already know that I'm going to be funnier than you. What he told everybody was, Cat Williams, hey, hey, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. That's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious, not now, then. He was so egregious that, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did, it's in my contract. Why would you put that in your put us in your contract, cat? That's where he's Exactly. That's the question I want to ask. Why would you put in your contract another fellow black man in the industry that he has to wear a dress? Okay, that doesn't seem like a good idea at all in my personal opinion, and I think that's very very hypocritical of Cat Williams to get up here and talk about all of the people in the industry that he believes is doing stuff out of pocket. And doing things to get ahead and you know the fact that the industry is trying to put people in the dress and we've heard Dave Chappelle talk about this in the past too and then turn around and put in his contract okay not just asked him to thought maybe that was the best thing for him to do he put it in his contract for Ricky Smiley to wear a dress and I believe I think it was the, the movie first Sunday and I think that's extremely extremely hypocritical to what this whole interview is about and i think it's um i think it's kind of out of pocket man i think it's wrong you know what i'm saying he's the unbelievable actor why would i use kayak and we got ourselves a uh a advertisement here man but yeah i think that's extremely out of pocket i think it's wrong um he talked about how a lot of people were doing things to him and and just exposing a lot of the wrong that's taking place in Hollywood and to come out and say, you know, that you put in another black man's contract <laughs> that he has to wear a dress because you feel like that's the only thing he's good at. I think that was a little bit out of pocket in my personal opinion. OK, I disagree with that. I think it's wrong. I think it's uh, it's petty. It's not it's not good. And um and that's just one of the things I think is not good. I don't think well, that's good at all. Everybody was Cat Williams. Hey, hey, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. And I get it. You know, if he's talking about you and you pissed off about it and you feel like he's trying to downplay you in order to put himself up. I understand that. I don't I don't like when people do that either. But I think I think it's still not a good look. When we're sitting here talking about putting men in dresses in Hollywood to, you know, leave a good example for the youth, the upcoming young black boys that's that's coming up. I think it's um, not a good look, man, for you to expose the industry for what you say the white man is doing to us 
and how you feel like, you know, they're putting our men in dresses in order, you know, to, to compromise, you know, our appearance and, and different things that you say that they're doing. And then to turn around and, and, and put it in your contract for Ricky Smiley to um, to be in a dress in your movie. I think that's a little bit insane, in my opinion. I think it's wrong. I think it's I think it's out of pocket, even with the fact that you feel like he was doing you wrong. I think that's still, uh, you know, going below the belt, so to speak. That's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious, not now, then. He was so egregious that, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Yeah, so yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's, that's going beyond petty. I think it's wrong and, um, when, you know, if, if <laughs> If he was to do that, I think I think the man can't be trusted, man. I know a lot of people think the interview is great. We all talk about positive things that came from this interview. Trust and believe it. Um, I, I think there was a lot of positives and a lot of exposing going on in this video. But in my personal opinion, I think a lot of celebrities try to make themselves seem like they woke. They try to make themselves seem like they're for the people. Um, and they try to you know make themselves out to be an angel of light. When really and truly, all of these guys are in cahoots together most of the time. A lot of these dudes are all, you know, working together on the same agenda. And a lot of times when you see these guys come out and they and they get to having beef in the public eye, a lot of times all it does is it brings publicity to each of these guys and they're going to make money uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. They're going to make money. OK, and a lot of us out here in the regular us regular folks out here, we're going to argue back and forth and we're going to salute these guys and we're going to get behind these guys and, and talk about how great they are. But at the end of the day, these dudes going to be laughing all the way to the bank. Um, that goes for Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, um, Michael Blackston, um, who else? Um, Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, all of these comedians, these older comedians, it seems like their name has been circling around the web. And I think a lot of these guys going to make a crap ton of money um, going forward, man. And sometimes you got to think of things from a different standpoint that a lot of times they do these things in the, in the media and in Hollywood and, and, and on social media to basically um, make themselves... Uh, a name, you know, make their names relevant again and, and get bigger in the media. And I think that's a lot of what this interview had a lot to do with is Cat Williams was used, in my personal opinion, to get out here and to and to help get all of these guys uh, names out in the in the, um, in the Internet again, <laughs> basically. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, you got to be careful with believing everything we see. I know it was a good interview. It was a lot going on. A lot of gems dropped. But a lot of times we don't understand what these people are doing behind the scenes and why they're doing what they're doing. I think it's very important that we pay attention to why people do what they do. And and I think that's what a lot of times gets lost here. But I want to get into my second reason before I get out of here. It? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. So you see, he put in his contract that another black man wears a dress. And I think that has a lot to do uh, with what I'm talking about. And let me see here. My earthquake not in movies, cause he's illiterate. He can't read. My earthquake not in movies, cause he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of him. Like all of these dudes are co-entwined and they share secrets. And this is the age of truth. And, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. Uh, cats on drugs. Where are the stories? Why is there no story of anybody who ever sold a drug to me? Did okay, I think that's another thing that in my personal opinion, I think was a little bit out of pocket. For him to call out earthquake, earthquake and say why is earthquake not in movies that's because he can't read he's illiterate and i think that was a little bit of a low blow uh we always talk about how we need to stand up for each other black folks need to stick together and i think for him to publicly blast this man's ability to read was out of pocket i think it was a low blow i think it was uncalled for 
and I don't really see where it was necessary at. I don't really see what earthquake did to him. I don't know what would be the reason for him saying that. Like, what will be your reason for coming out and just blasting this man and say the reason he can't get movies is because he can't read good. I think that was a little bit out of pocket and I don't agree with that at all. I think that was wrong. I think Earthquake is a heck of a comedian. I think he's funny. Um, and I think just to see a, a black man tearing another black man down when there's really no really need for it, I think I think that was a little bit out of pocket in my personal opinion for Cat Williams. But I want y'all to let me know down in the comment section. Although this was a heck of an interview, although it was a lot of fun, a lot of people got a kick out of it. Um, he spoke a lot of truth, but we still got to call out those few things that we see that was um, that we would say is, is wrong and out of pocket and, and not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? I think we still got to call it out, the truth, when we see it. So that's pretty much all I got for this video. Uh, really appreciate everybody for uh, clicking in. Make sure you guys share the video. If you like the video, if you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try to put out some more videos and, and try to keep the shorts going too because we're a brand new channel based in florida <laughs> and we're going to try to keep going and try to build this channel up from the ground up so if you want to be you know one of the first ones and one of the day ones from the beginning because if we're going to go all the way to the top you're going to want to be on board so i appreciate it man much love peace and blessings and i'll holler at y'all in the next video